Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to answer the question, is a square a rectangle? Let's jump right into it here. Now this may look confusing at first, but stick with me, and everything will start making more sense as we work through this. So we're going to look at this flowchart, which you may also hear this called a hierarchy. This is going to keep us organized as we answer our question. Now before we talk about squares and rectangles, we need to back all the way up to quadrilaterals. Which quadrilaterals are just four-sided polygons, and we can even take that a step further and say quadrilaterals have four sides, four angles, and four vertices. Here's an example of a quadrilateral right here. Four sides, four angles, and four vertices. And remember, vertices are just the corners. So this is not very specific at all. Quadrilaterals are just figures with four sides. So is a square a quadrilateral? Yes, squares have four sides. Now to go off of this, let's work our way down this chart. And we're going to get more and more specific as we go down. Next, we have parallelogram which a parallelogram is a quadrilateral, but it has to have two pairs of parallel sides. Opposite sides are parallel and actually equal in length as well. Here's an example of a parallelogram. Something to keep in mind, the arrow symbols show us which sides are parallel. The sides with one arrow are parallel and the sides with two arrows are parallel. Let's go off of this and work our way down. There are two different paths we can take to get more specific here. Let's go to the left over to rectangle. Now rectangles are quadrilaterals. Rectangles have four sides. And rectangles are parallelograms. Rectangles have two pairs of parallel sides. But more specifically, a rectangle has to have four right angles. We have an example of a rectangle right here. So rectangles are just a more specific or special quadrilateral and parallelogram. Let's go over to the right from parallelogram to rhombus. Just like a rectangle, a rhombus is a more specific or special quadrilateral and parallelogram. A rhombus is a quadrilateral and a rhombus is a parallelogram, but more specifically, a rhombus has to have all four sides equal in length. And we have an example of a rhombus right here. Those tick marks on each side tell us that each side is the same length. Now working our way down from rectangle and rhombus, we finally get to square. A square is very specific. A square is a quadrilateral. Squares have four sides. A square is a parallelogram. A square has two pairs of parallel sides. A square is a rhombus. All four sides are equal in length. And finally, our main question, is a square a rectangle? Yes, a square is a rectangle. Squares have four right angles. Squares have all of the features or all of the properties that rectangles do. Squares are rectangles. A square is just basically a more specific or special rectangle because squares have to have all four sides the same length. Rectangles do not. So could you call a square a rectangle? Sure, you could, but that's not the best name. It's not the most specific or fitting. Square is. Square gives us more information about the shape than just rectangle. Because square tells us we have a rectangle, we have all of the properties of a rectangle, but more specifically, all of the sides are equal in length as well. So to recap here, a square is a quadrilateral, a square is a parallelogram, a square is a rhombus, and yes, a square is a rectangle. Now to help us make sense of all of this and relate this to something that could help us understand this a little better, off to the side I have animal, mammal, and dog. So right here. So we start with animal. More specifically, we move to mammal. And then even more specific than that, we move to dog. 
A dog is an animal. A dog is a mammal. But more specifically, a dog is a dog. Now, could you call a dog an animal or a mammal? Absolutely, and you'd be correct. But a better, more specific name is dog. You wouldn't necessarily say, my family got a new mammal. You'd say, my family got a new dog. Now, I know that's not an apples-to-apples -apples comparison with our quadrilateral chart, but it can help us think through how, yes, a square is a rectangle. Just like, yes, a dog is a mammal. So there you have it. There's an explanation of how a square is a rectangle. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.